Good evening again, dear brothers and sisters. Now, allow me to give you my short reflection, which includes three points based on the today's gospel reading. The first point is welcoming, welcome, because. Jesus entered a village where there was a woman named Martha, and that woman Martha welcomed Jesus to her house. Here, the point is that God enters our lives. God wants us. God wants to be with us every moment, every day. But the problem or the weakness is from our side. That is, sometimes we ignore or we don't welcome God. This is the problem, my dear brothers and sisters. So we have to welcome God so that God can guide and direct our lives. Here on earth, of course, God enters our life in different forms and in different ways. In the forms of events happening around us, God enters our life through our friends. God enters into our life in our happy moments, as well as in our sad moments or so. So, dear brothers and sisters, here we have to ask ourselves that: Do we welcome God? If we welcome God, what do we have to do? Or Do we welcome our friends to our home, to our house? For example, I welcome you. So what I have to do? Because I have a guest in my house due to my, uh, because I welcome that guest. So now the second point of my reflection. Will answer it if we welcome guests to our house. So my second point is that acted love and、uh, spiritual love, because acted love is for our physical need, as Martha did in the gospel today. Because she has already a guest that is Jesus, so she has to take care of the guest, Jesus, her her friend, and that is、uh, the taking care of our guest through serving physical need. That is preparing food. I'm sure that Filipinos. Whenever you welcome guest or you have guest, you prepare a lot of food, right? And you serve, 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 and the guest don't want to eat any more. Very good. So why we have to be healthy physically so that our spirituality or our spiritual life or our soul also will be. Healthy too. If we are weak physically, our spiritual life or our soul, our spirituality also will be weak. That is why, dear brothers and sisters, first we need to be strong physically also. That is why Jesus does not blame in today's gospel. One mother said to him, "Lord, tell my sister to help me." On that complaint or comment, Jesus does not blame Martha. 
he said that oh, Mary has chosen better part. Dear brothers and sisters, uh, we have to we have to take care of our spiritual love also. Spiritual love means for our soul as Mary does in today's gospel. Active love means that we have to take care of oh sorry, spiritual love means that we have to take care of our soul or spiritual life. That is why Jesus replied to Martha, Mary has chosen better part. Better part means that we have to listen to God, we have to talk to God and live with God. Because today in the Gospels reading of today, Mary sits beside Jesus and listening to him. Listening to him. So dear brothers and sisters, we have to ask ourselves that do we listen, do I listen to God? Do I talk to God? Do I live with God in my daily life? Now let me go to my last point, that is prayer removes our anxiety and worries. Jesus said to Martha, 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 you are anxious and worried about many things. It is, tr it is true with us also that I think all of us, we have anxiety and we have so many worries. Do we? Yes, I will give you an example I experienced last night. Last night, I was awakened in the middle of the night and then so many uh, anxieties and then worries came to my mind so I could not go back to sleep because of anxiety and worries so I talked to myself how can I help myself so that I can go back to sleep and so many anxieties and worries disturbed me more than one hour I could not go back to sleep because I was thinking of so many things no, regarding my academic my studies and my family in my country my friends thinking of the COVID-19 so those made me not to be able to go back to sleep but finally, this helped me last night to go back to sleep. This is a, a rosary, give, uh, this one, given by my friend in, in Christ again. His name is Father Elimata. He gave it this rosary to me. And uh, this one I got from a friend in Christ again after the Mass in Columbari. This is a rosary given by Father Jerry Obos. So finally I decided these three rosary I put two in my in my two hands. With this one I was reciting rosary on my bed lying down. Huh? And I think after three decades of rosary I fell asleep because pray. Praying to God removes our anxiety and worries. You try, when you have so many anxieties and worries, try to pray to God. God will make us calm down. This is my experience in the middle of the night last night. So dear brothers and sisters, prayer is powerful. So, from the experience of Martha, we are encouraged to pray to God. It is very powerful. Don't worry that we have so many anxieties and worries, but keep on praying to God. To God. So, dear brothers and sisters, it is good that we welcome God into our life, into our home, 
of course, in a form that we have to welcome one another also. How? By talking to one another, by forgetting the how to call the disturbs dis disturbs we experience in the past. Forget everything, or let's say some people hurt you in the past. Forget it and welcome. Talk to them. It means that we welcome God into our life also. Please rise.